My sister act up so badly when she came to see me, y'all. She brought her girlfriend with her to come see me. Stayed in my house. They supposed to stay in a hotel. They stayed in my house. I ain't have no problem with it. I ain't even have no room. This is our chance to be sisters. You my real sister. Her lion tail. I don't hold a grudge. I can move past stuff. That's why my sisters were able to come in and out of my life because I can move past stuff. <laughs> I could get over stuff because when I think about it, when I think about it, my sisters probably shouldn't have even been in my house, okay? Myself that. That's one thing about Leos. We can contain ourselves. And if we jump on you and we eat your tail up, it's because we want to. It's because we literally want to. I'm a Leo. I'm very, very loyal. I will stick with you to the end. Matter of fact, I'll be in front of you if I have to. But I will stick with you to the freaking end. And if I got to fight for you, I'm going to fight for you. Oh, I used to date a tourist that I really, really liked. I liked him a lot. A whole lot. Like, he was one of the, 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 one of the greatest people I ever met. And I learned a whole lot from him. But child, when my, my ship started sinking, he was out of there gone but she had plans that when she left my presence she was going to talk about me like a dog she laughed they did all they had to do i'm sure the family keep 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 laugh laugh every single one of them every single one of them what she didn't know is that i vlog <laughs> tell nobody i told y'all before me doing asmr i didn't think nobody would ever find out i didn't think testing one two one two it's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to feel out of day. We can tangle it away. Now I'm here. These are the chocolate, the double chocolate chip cookies that Nadine made yesterday. Y'all see some missing spots because those are the cookies that we <laughs> that we ate. These are the cookies that's left. They look so good, y'all. I'm trying not to be tempted to grab one and eat because I might use it for a word search. I know how y'all like, you know, little treats and stuff like that. But yeah, Nadine, just the bacon. I done had the best weekend already, y'all. <laughs> the best weekend. Hi, spirit alerts. <sighs> Happy Sunday morning. Happy rising. Happy rising. Happy Sunday rising. I am about to go walking. Mm. It's beautiful outside today. I didn't sleep good enough. This is the fourth night that I've been dealing with not really sleeping good because my legs are not going to sleep. So, I'm out here today to get me some sun. I look like I just woke up, because I did. <laughs> I did. I didn't do, uh, just do on a t-shirt, some sweatpants. And when I get back in, I, I think I'm going to deep condition in my hair and wash it. Because I did put some gel in the front of it, and it started already drying out. And I can't do nothing with my hair like that. So, I'm going to wash my hair. But before I wash my hair, I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook for me and Nadine, make us some breakfast. I got some tilapia out, some black rice soaking. Oh, my God. Before I get on the track, I got to tell y'all, Nadine, did y'all see Nadine bread? She baked a whole loaf of bread yesterday. When I tell you that was the best bread I ever tasted in my whole entire life. That was the best bread. It was so delicious. And I got it while it was still warm. And she put butter on it. And the, the around the edges was nice and crisp. It was just so good, y'all. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy about that. I got to go out here and just get me some sun and try to, like, maybe do, like, a good walk around. 
to get my bones to loosen up. Maybe it'll give me what I need so I can sleep good tonight. There's so many butterflies out this morning. That one over here eating, you probably can't see them. And that one dangling from a flower. Ooh, see it's two over there. It's two right there, and then there's one right here. They're pretty. They look like they're new, like they're babies. Butterflies don't got my attention. Let me leave these butterflies alone and get back to walking. They're so pretty. Okay, I'm headed home. I did pretty good. I didn't do as good as Nadine, but I did pretty good. <sighs> I was able to get a little bit loose, but now I'm like feeling really, really tired. <sighs> and it's chilly, but the air to breathe it felt good. I needed that. <sighs> I'm gonna try it again another day. Hopefully another day, I'm more hype, I'm more ready. I feel like, um. I'm low. I'm going through a low. You know, like... Uh, uh, I don't have no energy today. So I made it home from the track. I'm like so tired. That was too much fresh air for me. It wore me out. I literally just want to go to bed. But I got the loaf of bread. I'm going to slice it and make us some French toast. Oh my gosh, so it smells so good. I feel like I just sliced this one a little bit too thick. So I'm gonna try to go thinner with the next one. Oh my God, when I tell y'all it smell like a bakery, it smell like a bakery up in here. beautiful it is and it smells so good oh my god i'm so proud of nadine when she brought me a slice of bread yesterday i felt like i was receiving one a gift from god that's what i felt like child and the good part is it's sugar free and it tastes so freaking delicious it's so good look at this y'all I thought we weren't gonna have no more bread left once I, you know, slice what I needed for the French toast. So I got her two slices and I got me two slices. Um, I'm hoping that that's enough. That should fill us up and they're gonna make us some eggs. So we're gonna have French toast and eggs. And we can save the rest of the bread so we can have for dinner tonight. The watermelon is nice and sweet and beautiful. Mmm, look how ripe it is. Nathan's about to make us some watermelon drinks. Mmm. The other night she fixed us watermelon and gave us each one a slice. And that's what we have for dessert. Ripe watermelon. It was so good.
Baby made me a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I'm all to pieces. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, let me taste it. Mmm. Wow. Nadine, this is so good. This is delicious. Mmm, I love it. Mmm, mmm, it's so hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Well, I tell you, <laughs> I tell you, this is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm also pieces. Hello, Spirit of Lights. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I, I got the car running because I want the engine to kind of calm down before I pull off. I, I feel like I need to stop at the gas station, but I'm going to try to make it to where I got to go. And then I'm going to get gas. We're leaving out uh, very early. I am not doing anything today as far as like filming or making ASMR videos one unfortunately you know how my immune system is you know so I've been dealing with that the third day so I've been trying not to get overwhelmed with what comes with it like try to stay calm as possible and know that it's only temporary and that i'm going to be okay and that we're going to be super busy going to be buying decorations for thanksgiving and yeah girl i i you left a comment saying that you already buying your christmas stuff and decoration you putting them up right here and then right here in november and you can't wait i i get it i get it a lot of people do that but I definitely want to enjoy the moment that I'm in because time flies. Time flies and time wait for no one, you know. So let me hit the road and I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Matter of fact, I might talk to y'all while I'm on the road. we ended up having to come all the way back home because Nadine forgot her phone charger. She made us, do look, check these out. Fresh baked cookies. First thing in the morning, like literally these cookies are only about 20 minutes old. That's <laughs> 20 mini old. They they look so good. Double chocolate chip cookies. Mm -mm -mm. She made that on the road and she made us a watermelon drink. Two canisters. One for her, one for me. Fresh watermelon, ripe watermelon. So delicious. So freaking good for us on the road so that we don't have to worry about wanting something good and to drink. It's nice and cold. I'm still going to stop and get me a hot coffee because I haven't had a coffee uh, in a little bit. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so I had got a comment. I had did the video eating the Odos and Noodles soup and one, two... 184 said what is the recipe for the broth please love you spirit <laughs> exclamation points it looks good okay so the yeah I all know it was ramen noodles because it says it in the title now I didn't use the seasoning that come in the ramen noodles because it tend to have too much salt in it and I want to be able to control my own salt so I boiled the water and I added fresh cabbage I added purple cabbage for color and for nutrients and but you can do whatever you want I feel like if you don't add cabbage you can add onions you can add peppers add whatever you have whatever you feel like you want to put in there I added cabbage and I added some peas for color and inside of the water while the cabbage and peas were boiling i added just about three teaspoons of the vinegar garlic let me see what else did i add oh Himalaya salt i did like maybe two twists in the Himalaya salt because i didn't want a lot of salt in it and parsley i added parsley 
Now, usually I'll use Lori Season, something like that, but I didn't want Lori Season. And then I sprayed uh, some of the garlic butter Cajun seasoning in, in the bottle. It's garlic butter Cajun seasoning. I showed it to you in the vlog. So, yeah, if I get a chance, I'll show it to you again. But I'm sure you've seen it. It's, I just sprayed garlic butter Cajun season. And if you don't have garlic butter, you can add butter, some garlic, and maybe add maybe like um, some chili or some peppers or something like that to get that Cajun. But not I didn't add too much where it took over, but it gave it a good flavor. And after that, Nadine made some sauce, which she boiled, I believe, like... um. I don't know. <laughs> she just made like peanut peanut sauce. You ever heard of peanut sauce? Well, that's what she made. And um, she spiced it up. And I added a little bit to my dish. But it was so good. Even before the sauce, Nadine said, Mom, this is delicious. Now, I didn't even make Nadine the ramen noodles. Nadine had gluten-free spaghetti noodles for hers. But we had the same base. And I put some in her noodles and I put some in mine. And she said, Mom, this is so freaking good. So freaking good. It was the, it was absolutely delicious. So I'm glad y'all liked the video. And I'm glad y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Y'all always asking me about the recipes and stuff like that. And then it, it seems like sometimes when I tell the recipes or tell y'all what's going on, don't nobody really seem to ask me anything. Just feel like y'all not really interested in the recipe. Y'all just like if the food look good. So, <laughs> so yeah, I usually tell y'all inside of the video, but I feel like I was really, really hungry that day. So... I just couldn't wait to eat. I I literally, I was starving. I was really, really starving. But thank you so much for all of y'all comments. <laughs> I see a lot of y'all here. I really appreciate that. I just made it to my destination. I couldn't talk to y'all while I was on the road. The traffic was really going fast today. For some reason, people were really driving fast and you had to really pay attention. Man, shoot, this one car crossed the light y'all he might as well had kept freaking going he crossed the freaking red light you know how you come up to a light and it just turn red okay it turned red so you cut you stop real hard or you stop hard on yellow that sucker passed the light he passed the light pole okay and stopped the car in the middle of the freaking road child and another car almost hit him and then the car started backing up and i was like wondering when they was gonna stop i did not want to have to blow the horn but i had to protect diamond i blew the freaking horn Mm. This watermelon drink this morning is so freaking good, but I want me a coffee. Um, I'm going to get one shortly from here. Nathan, it's not going to be long. Have you ever dealt with or, or this situation? Someone asks you for your number, and the first thing you think is, what's your sign? <laughs> the first thing you think is, what's your sign? Yeah, that came across my mind recently. I felt a little bad about that. That that that's all I can think about. Like I almost don't can't see myself giving somebody my number unless I know they signed for. Them. I gave my number one time to somebody, and um, they wasn't signed that I don't do well with. Right after that, it was downhill. <laughs> I don't know. If it was my thought process, but I'm a Leo, and I know what's time. I don't have. I don't need to have nothing to do with. <laughs> mm. Male or female. And although the sign I'm talking about, I'm not gonna say. I don't want nobody to feel bad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Although we communicate well, seem to match pretty good. They have traits that I don't like. And they do things that they can't help because of who they are. Like every every sign, every person with the same sign is not alike. 
but they got some of the, the very similar traits, okay, and stuff that they do. And once you learn that, <laughs> you'll make better choices in dealing with people. Even for yourself. I know a lot of people don't really think about that or look into that. But it is very, very important to know your your, uh, your zodiac sign. I really believe that. Because you learn things about yourself. But other people kind of know a little bit about you. And you will know who you do better with and who you don't. Or you have a different perspective when it comes to stuff. You know? Like, for example, my son is a Taurus. Okay? <laughs> so I know Taurus is pretty well. I'm going to tell y'all. I can tell y'all a lot about Taurus. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Mm, I'm talking my car. Well, now I wanted to get some air. A Taurus is not going down with a sinking ship. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. They'll stick with you. As long as you got yourself together, as long as you're doing good, they will stick with you. You start going down, you start sinking, the Taurus out of there. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Every Taurus I know, I know that as a fact. The ones that I know. I used to date a tourist that I really, really liked. I liked him a lot. A whole lot. Like, he was one of the, the, the one of the greatest people I ever met. And I learned a whole lot from him. But child, when my, my ship started sinking, he was out of there. Gone. He didn't think twice about it. No matter how much I begged him to stick with me, he wasn't trying to hear it. Mm -mm. Yep. And then recently, he contacted me. And, and I tried to like play it cool and see where he was coming from, see what he was up to, and to see what he was talking about. But the more and more I thought about <laughs> how he jumped shit, yeah, I, I ended up blocking him. I did. I blocked his. I blocked his A. Do you hear me? I blocked him. I thought about it. No, because that was when I'm a Leo. I'm very, very loyal. I will stick with you to the end. Matter of fact, I'll be in front of you if I have to. But I will stick with you to the freaking end. And if I got to fight for you, I'm going to fight for you. I don't care if somebody just... If they, they beating me up and getting the best of me, I, and as long as I got strength in me and breath in me, I'm going to keep on fighting. But I'm going to fight for you. That's what kind of person I am. Mm -mm. I don't care if your ship is sinking. I'm going to be right there. to find, I'm either going to go down with that ship or I'm going to go down fighting to get us out of that ship. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of person I am. A Taurus? Nah. Mm -mm. You talk to them when you got yourself together. <laughs> When you get yourself together and you are, right, then you can call them, okay? But if you not you ain't got yourself together, your ish is not together, child please, okay? I'm gonna tell you something. Ataris will make you feel like they ain't got nothing and they've been banking. They will even live like and spend less. And you would think they ain't got nothing. But they've been banking on you the whole time. Okay? Because a Taurus going to take care of themselves. That's the one thing I have learned. A Taurus will take care of themselves. But I did. I really did date someone who was a Taurus. And out of all the men that I have dated. I feel like I really liked him the most. Like he was cool. He was smart. He was strong minded. I liked him. He, I liked, I liked his personality, but yeah, child, uh, uh, I'm not dating another Taurus. But if I do date another Taurus, I know how, I know how they kind of operate in some things. So I'll have a heads up or a perspective. You know, sometimes you can look at things like a perspective. If you learn something or know something about a person, then maybe you won't take it so, so personal when it comes to certain things. Like for instance. Some signs are very emotional, and they like to work things out, keep working things out until everybody comes to an agreement. 
I'm not that sign. I'm the type of sign where I could not deal with something right then and there. I can go head to head with a person and not carry it on the next day or a week later. They cool, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? As long as they ain't cross the boundaries of no return, I can get over stuff. I get over stuff. I don't need to talk it out. I don't need to, you know, get complete closure in order for me to move past stuff. I'm one of those people. I'm just one of them people. Some people really need complete closure in order for them to move on to stuff. And if they can't get closure, some people hold a grudge and you dealing with them. And some people are vindictive. I'm not vindictive. I don't hold a grudge. I can move past stuff. That's why my sisters were able to come in and out of my life because I can move past stuff. <laughs> I can get over stuff because when I think about it, when I think about it, my sisters probably shouldn't even been in my house, okay? Especially one of them that hates me to the core. She hates my freaking guts. Why was she in my house? Why did I take her on a birthday vacation? Why did I give her money to get back home, okay? Why did I do that? <laughs> I did this for several sisters, but I'm talking about one Pacific sister. I'm talking about one of my sisters who literally... There's no secret. She can't even control herself. She can't even control herself when she's around me. Even when she wants something, she's trying to be real nice, but it's hard for her because she can't stand me. <laughs> she cannot stand me. And she shouldn't have even been in my house. She shouldn't have been in my car. Oh, my God. It's so crazy. She act up so badly. My sister act up so badly when she came to see me, y'all. She brought her girlfriend with she brought her girlfriend with her to come see me. Stayed in my house. They supposed to stay in a hotel. They stayed in my house. I ain't have no problem with it. I ain't even have no room. I literally I literally was living in a one bedroom apartment with my son and my daughter and my grandbaby. Okay. And my sister came to see me. She was with her girlfriend. For some reason, she told, well, when I talked to her, she said she was going to stay in a hotel. You know, and my, and my sister, she's very fly. She dressed nice. She's always looking good. I didn't think she was going to stay with me because I know I was trying to, get, like, pull myself up out of the hole of what I was going through. The back end of what I was going through as far as my health. So when she came and she said, you know what? I want to stay with you. And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't worry about the hotel. I'll pick you up when you're ready. No, I want to stay with you. I feel like this is our way to bond her lion tail. This is our way to be close her lion tail. <laughs> her lion tail. This is our chance to be sisters. You my real sister, her lion tail, you know. She loved to say, she loved to tell me this, but I don't think she tell my other sisters that. That because me and her supposedly, supposedly have the same father, that we're real sisters. I don't believe in that. I feel like if you came out my mother, private parts, we're sisters and brothers. Period. Period. I don't really go by the father thing. You know, we got the same mom and dad. They're good. But if we only got the same mom, I consider us sisters, you know. And then if we got the same dad... Yeah, we siblings, family, you know what I mean? But I put my sisters and brother from my mom first. Not no more, though, period. Not no more. But that's the way I, my thought process was. And, and you know, push came to shove, push came to shove. And I, and I had to do that, and I had to make a decision. I probably still would put them first because... They are, in my opinion, my, my siblings, my real sisters, because we're in brother, because we're from my mom. But this is what she says. She says, I'm her real sister, so she's trying to bond with me, right? Her lion tells she knows she cannot stand me, period. She she cannot stand me. And I, I feel, I used to ask myself, why my sister can't stand me? Why she, like just always got a mouth on her or always get to the point where 
I'm kind of done with her. And I have to hold myself back. I have to control myself from not fighting her when we in the same room or something because I'm saying to myself, like, she got issues. So don't let her take you, take you there. And Because, you know, at one point, I told y'all a long time ago in the story time, she always tell people I almost killed her. And she wasn't lying. But the, the circumstances around it, she pushed my button so badly that I blacked out on her A, okay? And she constantly just put me in a situation where I have to really, really stay calm because I don't want to hurt her. You know what I'm saying? Like, those, that's how I felt in my younger days. Now she can't put me in no situation because I wouldn't dare be in the room with her. I'm not sitting at no table with her. I'm not sitting at no park with her. I'm not going to no reunion with her. I ain't going to no funeral with her in it. You know what I'm saying? Period. I'm done with her. She came to my house with her girlfriend, y'all, and... She, I told story time on that too, uh, about, I found out the real reason. Y'all know I was sitting on camera freaking broken hearted over this freaking sister that can't stand me. I was so hurt. I was so gullible and, and dumb at the time, like seriously believing that she really wanted a relationship with why? With me. I'm so stupid to even believe some bull ish like that. You know what I'm saying? At the time, gullible, right? And in the story time, I was telling y'all <laughs> that I found out through another sister the real reason why she came all the way. She brought her butt all the way to Texas, supposed to brought a cousin, a cousin that I love, that I never had no fight with, no argument, no issue with, that I truly always just had a special place for her because she's like a cousin to me. She's like a sister to our family. Like, we didn't see her like a cousin. We seen her like a sister. She was supposed to come down here with my freaking cousin and for once and all, put me in my place. <laughs> supposed to put me in my place she was supposed to tell me all she was supposed to let me know i wasn't family because i left i left she's not a part of the family she left that's all she constantly says. she left she ain't never been a part of the family she left so she was supposed to come down all the way to texas from new jersey to tell me off that was the real reason why she was down there but the whole time she was down there she was telling me something completely different from what she was telling the family members up there, y'all. And she, I'm going to tell you what's so funny. And I was so funny. I'm going to get back to what her girlfriend, what happened with her girlfriend. I'm going to tell y'all. And this is why I freaking love, like, genuine story time. Because when somebody's telling a story, it's hard to just go straight to bullet points unless you like on a piece of paper and you're saying I'm going to stick to the facts I'm not going to do this this that I'm not going to go back I'm not going to go forward I'm not going to tell you this I'm not going to tell you that I love story time because you start to get all the little pieces you know what I'm saying and I love when I think about memories because depending on where I'm at in my life and how much spiritual growth I have I have different perspectives of things that happened to me in the past. So that's the reason why I love doing story time. Nadine is already done doing whatever she had to do, so I can't finish. But I want to tell <laughs> but I want to tell y'all what my cousin decided that she wasn't going to come with my sister at the last minute because she didn't want to be a part of whatever mess that my sister was planning on doing because my cousin didn't have a problem with me so I understood why she backed out and the family was mad with her for backing out on my sister but I understood why she did it because it wouldn't have made sense for her to be with my sister to come down here to be a witness to tell me off okay but my sister let me get to what her girlfriend did right after <laughs> right after my sister went home I had no idea that she was going to go home and lie about her birthday and how much fun and what we did and how she was going to make it look like I ruined her birthday and she just didn't have a good time and just talk about me like a dog. She had no idea, y'all, that I was vlogging. She didn't know that I vlogged. I literally, I literally had a camera out all the freaking time. I film everything, which y'all know that if y'all go way back in the beginning of the vlogs and now. I film all the time. I don't know what she was thinking. Did she think that I just had the camera out just to take a picture? What was she thinking? I vlog, right? So she didn't realize that I was vlogging all of our moments, all of our special moments. And that's why I said I'm a Leo. 
that when I get into stuff, I don't need to like go through this whole long drawn out we need to really talk and try to fix things. I can get over stuff quick because if y'all remember, my sister hurt my feelings a long time ago and she came out her mouth. She was so upset because I didn't understand the relationship that her and my daughter had. I didn't even know they had like, I knew they had a relationship, but I didn't know the dynamics of it. I learned about it later on through other family members and, and, and trying to understand why my daughter was acting so weird and treating me so terrible. So I learned the dynamics of their relationship. But at the time, I didn't even know that they had a certain type of dynamic. So when my daughter called me and she's like, hey, mom, where you at? I said, oh, my God, we're in such and such we're doing such and such we're in a hotel we're about to go to the casino when i'm talking to her and she's like wait a minute my daughter's like wait a minute what who are you with i was like i'm with such and such which was my sister right <laughs> and my daughter's like uh, uh i'm gonna call you back mom i'm gonna call you back click she hung up i didn't even know why she hung up all of a sudden my sister she started cursing throwing stuff around, slamming stuff out her suitcase, saying stuff. I didn't know what she was talking about. She was going off. I said, look, what's going on? Why are you so upset? Because all of us decided to share a room. All of us. We didn't get no separate room. It was my sister, her girlfriend, a family friend, my daughter, me. And, and we all decided to be together in one room to, to save money. Because basically, I was, playing, I was basically paying for everything. My sister came out of her mouth out of nowhere and she was like, I'm sick of mother effers, sick. And when you ain't got no health, you ain't nobody and don't nobody love you and don't nobody want nothing to do with you. Because when you ain't got your health, you ain't got nothing. And I'm sitting there and I realized she was talking about me. And I, I so I came out and asked her, I said, you talking about you talking about me? I asked my sister, you talking about me? He's like, what is you? I'm not da 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 da. You da, 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 da. She started going off, basically letting me know she was talking about me. So I told y'all how I have to really go inside myself or otherwise I will be on top of my sister with all claws. Do you hear me? Teeth and everything. I will choke her out. So I had to go inside myself. And I said, you know what? I left. I left. I left the hotel room and I went out and I got me some air. And I cried because I was so hurt that she would say something so mean, so devastating. Like, I didn't even understand. Like, where's this coming from? I done been spending money on you. I done gave you money. I done treated you well. Let you stay in my house. Where's this coming from? I found out later on, y'all, which was crazy. I Because the whole time I couldn't understand how the whole trip, we was having such a good sister relationship trying to mend things that she blew up. I found out she blew up because she was upset that my daughter called me and me and my daughter talked on the phone like kumbaya, like we so in love, like we have this great relationship because I told y'all with my oldest daughter, it's a one-sided fight. When we're together, she's like a baby. She's like my little bitty baby. I'm always talking to her. I'm always showing her love. But when she get around other people, I guess she portray that she don't like me. She don't love me. She hate me or whatever she does. She can't see us being close because she is around my family and she's telling them one thing and telling me another thing like my sister. Telling me one thing and telling the family something else. So I found out later that my sister and my daughter hey, had, I keep running out of footage on my car so I'm going to tighten this up. So yeah, I found out that they had some weird relationship going on that my, my sister was supposed to take the place of me and she also supposed to be like the grandmother to my grandchildren but I wasn't supposed to never ever find out and I was supposed I never ever know my daughter when she come around me she would make me feel as though she did not have a relationship with my sister at all because she could not see herself being around my sister she didn't get along with my sister she didn't like my sister so she was playing the fence like around me she didn't like my sister and when she around my family she's supposed to hate me she's supposed to hate my guts and then when she around me she's this little bitty baby she love her mom so much and then when she get around other people she change on me my sister went off on me because my daughter called me and she couldn't take it it hurt her heart so much to realize that me and my daughter actually talked me and my daughter actually had a relationship she never came to me and even talked to me about me and my daughter's relationship or, or 
asked me about me and my daughter relationship, I guess she assumed that I didn't have a relationship with my daughter because my daughter spent most of her adult life, teenage life up in New Jersey with my family. But she never talked to me. I would have told her that I had a relationship with my daughter. My daughter has never been completely out of my life. She was coming in and out of my life constantly since she ran away from home. And like I told y'all, because I'm a Leo, I was able to go inside myself hold myself to death that's one thing about leos we can contain ourselves. and if we jump on you and we eat your tail up it's because we want to it's because we literally want to i went outside and i came back in and i calmed down and she came to me and she said you know what i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that i apologize i don't know why i said that she didn't she knew why she said it she just didn't tell me at the time and she said but let's just continue having fun i i gave her a hug i got over it we went to the casino we had a good time but she had plans that when she left my presence she was going to talk about me like a dog she was just going to talk about me she was going to put me down she was going to roast me and that's what she did all of that and she made she made fun of me she they laughed they did all they had to do i'm sure the family keep 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 laugh laugh every single one of them every single one of them she did that and but what she didn't know is that i vlog <laughs> and i'm so glad i vlog because i edit and i put my vlog up not knowing that my sister did this i didn't even know she did this for i say a few years of no no i'm gonna say a couple of years a couple of years was two years i didn't even know she did that and then when I became into who I am and people start seeing me all over the place and contacting me like, oh my God, I know her. That's my sister. That's my friend. That's my associate. That's my aunt. That's my cousin. I know her. Everybody started recognizing who I was. And then when they contact me, they was like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know you did this. I didn't even know. You didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody. I told y'all before, me doing ASMR, I didn't think nobody would ever find out. I didn't think I would ever become known. But I, my face is known. I am known. So then my family reflected back. You know, people nosy. When they find out that you do what you do, they go back and they start watching videos. So they found out, <laughs> they found out that my sister lied about her birthday vacation that I actually was really really good to her and we had a really really good time and I thank God that I was vlogging but now I'm gonna end it this way what her girlfriend did she's so messy she was so focused on trying to make me look bad and trying to get tea on me so she could just talk about me like a dog her girlfriend ended up leaving her tail after they got back to where they was going her girlfriend saw her for her true colors and her girlfriend did not like what she saw she said i didn't like the attitude i didn't like i didn't i can't believe she would treat family like that and she and i knew her she was like you've never been disrespectful to me you never treated me bad you never said no bad words to me i can't believe your sister treated you like this and i don't like it but when her 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 girlfriend got back to where they was going she was so focused on making me look bad she ended up losing her girlfriend y'all she lost her girlfriend although it ain't no big deal to my sister because women flock to her she's she's good <laughs> women flock to my sister okay that's the reason why i love love vlogging but also this is one of the reasons why i say i was thinking about like if somebody asked me out why the first thing come to my mind, I want to know they sign. Because I feel like it's so important. It's so important to know a person's sign, I'm telling you. This is why I don't have no friends and I don't deal with nobody with my sister sign. Period. I hope you enjoyed Chit Chat Story Time. <laughs> and before I go, I want to make sure that if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell click the bell so you don't miss your notifications when i'm vlogging or when i'm doing story time you know i love to run my mouth i love to talk that is not a secret and also i want to leave you with this tip i feel like this tip is really really important take note of the zodiac signs like just if you got time if you have never done it just read up on it do a little research on it but don't go so deep don't get too obsessed with it don't take it too 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 serious but take note of 
zodiac signs because everyone is different. Everyone's different. I don't believe no one is exactly the same. But when it comes to zodiac signs, I do notice similarities and traits and stuff that they may do. Like you have some signs that are very sensitive. You have some signs where they're cold, cut, and dry. You have some signs where they're vindictive. You have some signs that are just very peaceful. They're very calm people. They're very sweet. You have some signs that they just seem to, every time you meet one, they just seem like really go-getters. They um, You have signs that are, people are very intellectual, very intelligent. You have some signs where people think they know everything. They, they, they know everything, everything, you know? So there's different signs, you know? You have some signs where most of them uh, with the same sign, they, they love to physically do things with their hands. You have some people who like to think. There's a lot of zodiac signs that people have very similar, similar traits. So if you take note of it and you come across something or you, you come across someone and you have a situation, you can have a different perspective that maybe you shouldn't take everything depending on the situation so personal because there are some things that they do that you may not do or there are some things that they don't take something so serious they're not so um very charismatic or they're not so very sensual there's a lot of different things to consider when it comes to zodiac signs that they give you a different perspective and help you be able to resolve a situation easily help you resolve a situation easier if you had a type of clue when it comes to the zodiac signs. Now, I know a lot of people don't really believe in stuff like that. They don't believe in the zodiac signs. But over time, as a... I was about to say older woman, but I'm a cute older woman. But I'm going to say 51. I am 51 years old and I have been taking notes. And I can literally tell you some things about different zodiac signs. But for myself, personally, I would say because I took a note and paid attention to the zodiac signs that I now know not to take certain things so serious or not to pursue something with, you know, certain people with certain zodiac signs. Or if I do pursue something and things don't go their way, prepare for what's going to come next. Or um, if I'm feeling a type of way in how they move and they may not move as fast as me, they might move as slow, they might move slower than me. So I have taken a very... I have taken some tips and some notes from the zodiac sign. So I just wanted to say that to y'all. You you be surprised, be surprised. But I know a lot of y'all, y'all leave y'all comments, y'all let me know how y'all feel about certain things and y'all experiences. Leave it in the comments below. I always tell y'all we have like such a, a good communicating common area and community with people they always leave their experiences they they give good tips if you have a good tip for someone and you really feel like it's important for them to know it leave it i mean shoot your experience is your experience and what you know is what you know <laughs> i'm not sure if i would actually date another taurus but yeah, I don't know if I could do that because my son is a Taurus and I dated a Taurus. So I know what comes with that. But I definitely would not date or deal with anyone with my sister sign. I, child, no. No, no, no. I had enough experiences just from dealing, <laughs> from dealing with her. And, and thank goodness, it, I very rarely meet. I very rarely meet anyone with my sister sign that hates me. She hates me to the core. And I don't meet people with that sign at all. I don't know why they don't come my way. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm thank goodness because then I don't have to be put in a position to really feel like, do I need to watch my back? <laughs> So thank you for watching Vlog 84. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day, afternoon and night. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye. Bye, spirit lights.